Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga de Soraka. Welcome to my channel. This reading can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sun or Venus is in Virgo. And today we are looking into whether this relationship is over that you are thinking about. So first we are going to look at things from your perspective and then from your love interest perspective. Please only take it if it resonates with you. Okay, so let's start with how you see your person, Virgo. How do you see them? How do you see your person? <sighs> stranger and lost in space. So the stranger is curiosity. The lost in space is needing direction. So the way you see your person is almost like you don't know anymore who they are. You had a, a hunch, a sense, a feeling, an intuitive insight into them. You were possibly connecting with them in a way that you felt who they can become. And uh, they started to be behave completely differently. And um, now you are like, I don't know who you are. And uh, lost in space, needing direction. So you do feel that they have to work on themselves to do something. Uh, 53 and 36, 5 plus 3 is 8, 3 plus 6 is 9. So you feel like they have to take certain steps to find their own way. And uh, maybe then it will help uh, their, the connection as well. Okay, how do you see the connection with your person? Unmarked trail, revelation. So yeah, I do feel th this is what it is about. Your person showed a side of them to you, not a good way, which surprised you, shocked you. And um, now you are like, I don't even know whether I want to do anything with this person. You don't know whether it leads anywhere anymore. And it, it's bringing change for you, looking at things from a higher perspective, connecting with your emotions as well, because 5 plus 7 is 12, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So you you having to look at it like is there a way forward I can't really express this very well it's like um, you walked into a wall and you are like oh what's that what happened I thought we have a free um, path like um, we could just move forward and now you are like I don't know. I don't know anymore. Why are you disappointed? If it wasn't a, wasn't enough disappointment, why are you disappointed, Virgo? Why is that? Why are you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Joyful muse inspiration is gone. So it turned into the opposite of what it was at the beginning and um, garden of venus rest and renewal the crossing initiation so you thought exactly what i said earlier that the path is clear forward for the two of you and there came a point of initiation and they were like going backward and running away they could not cross this portal uh, with you they could not walk with you so this is exactly it like whilst it was easy and, and beautiful they were with you and then the moment it got scary they were nowhere to be seen so they are a runner they ran okay so it's disappointment Okay, let's see your person, how they see you. 
Okay, that was quick. Dream Thief, Refusal of the Core. Wow, that's an interesting one. They see you that you chickened out. Okay. How they see the connection? Winter's dream, gestation period. So they believe this is not the end. It's just a bump in the road. That's what spirit is giving me. And uh, what is their disappointment? Caterpillar, opportunity and drifter experiencing life as it comes. So they thought also there was an opportunity for some kind of growth and improvement. And um, that you will go for it. And you did not. Now this is exciting. <laughs> Because they have a very different view of the whole situation. I don't think they see the spiritual side. Because this crossing, this initiation is five and four. It's nine. It is the, the way forward for the two of you. You do see it in a very spiritual pers perspective, as above, so below. And they, they don't seem to. Okay, I, I do need to clarify this. I have no idea where we are heading. So let's um, use the tarot. Spirit is choosing my decks and my layouts. So, Virgo, this is... Fascinating. Let's see why. Why they see you as the dream thief? Spirit is giving me something that like that they dreamt about a certain outcome with you, and that didn't happen. So it's not like a call in a spiritual sense. Yeah, this is what I'm sensing. You two are not in the same realm energetically. Yeah, exactly. So they have the magician, the nine of cups reversed, the three of swords, and the bottom of the deck is the nine of swords. So your person manifested you to take this big opportunity, which they seen as a big opportunity, a big milestone and then you broke their heart and you chickened out from that that's what they see okay what is this gestation period so what they are expecting here right now there is the queen of cups so they love you they care about you that's the bottom of the deck. And we've got the lovers and the four of swords. So they are taking their time to heal this broken heart. What they believe you caused, you are in the wrong. And decide what to do about this. So they are stepping back, taking their time to feel, feel things out. And what is this disappointment with this opportunity about? Okay. Yep, there was no prosperous new beginning with you. Their um, harvest is on hold. And um, they love you from the distance. Yeah, so I feel stronger and stronger that what happened here, Virgo, was... You both at one point felt it is Garden of Venus, so you two are going to the same place. You thought this connection is a divine connection, it's spiritual, there you are divine counterparts, and part of 
that path is to grow, to hear, to learn, to raise your vibration, to go walk through that portal, that initiation, that going through together, um, that portal to something like a higher vibrational state, some kind of ascension, enlightenment, uh, union, in a spiritual sense, as well as maybe in a physical sense. And your person completely missed the spiritual side of this whole thing. They were aiming for something more physical and um, you did not give in to that because the spiritual side didn't work out and now they see you as you were running away from them. Wow. And this is all about higher learning. We've got the Hierophant here. It's supposed to be about higher learning and celebration. That was the divine plan. Higher learning and celebration. You so far could be dealing with a Taurus, another Virgo, a Gemini, and that's it. Okay, so where are you going to go from here? So is this relationship over? Let's see the possible outcome. Metox, repairing the mind, body and spirit. So both of you are looking within. You, you are turning away from each other. You are both disappointed. You are disappointed because they weren't there spiritually where you thought they are. And if they were, you could have been able to unite spiritually, mentally, physically, in all ways. And they missed the, the spiritual side. And they were just, just going for earthly material stuff. And the bottom of the deck is the galactic mushroom, the divine matrix uh, for this um, outcome. So they are in the matrix, not seeing higher, and you are now at the level where you are able to see uh, what it meant to be. Okay, so I feel that the two of you are at this, um, standing at this wall, which Spirit showed me earlier, and there is no way to get through that wall. So in the physical, you cannot walk through walls unless you are a ghost, but you are not yet. So the only way to get, well, there are two, two ways to to solve this situation. One is to turn back because it seems like a dead end. And the other one is to fly above and that's the spiritual journey. And I feel your solution, Virgo, because of that initiation is okay, let's fly up together and their solution is turning back. Uh, maybe what that turning back means, let's find out. What is their solution? Five of Cups and the Handman. So they are grieving the opportunity that they feel they lost because of you and the two of you lost because of you and they are trying to find another way, another approach. Will they find the right approach? Because the right approach, well, they are coming in as the night of ones. Well, again, that's the getting, being stuck in the matrix, not seeing through that, not seeing the spiritual side. So we are they see that. Well, they would like to talk to you. They would like to change the outcome. They feel this can be a positive outcome. Um, you can be dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius. They wanted this for, long ter for a long term. But um, you two are showing up as the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, them being the Knight of Swords. 
and this is so clear it cannot be any more clear from spirit in the material there is no way forward for the two of you without the spiritual which is going above that wall flying above that and and you are like i i don't want um this connection without its potential the potential is the spiritual side so this is the key here you were on the same page to the point where you were both feeling like oh it's going the right way but then they didn't cross this crossing with you they did not so there is no celebration cross that out it's gone you are both looking within and right now spirit is showing that you both are returning to your own castles your own lives no connection uh, between the two of you very likely no communication either and uh, you only will lower your voice if you don't even need to lower your voice that's what spirit is showing you are um, in your castle literally high very tall walls and if they meet you on the spiritual level you don't even need to take your boundaries down because they can uh, literally uh, see things from a higher perspective and they will be able to approach you the right way and your boundaries will your walls will just drop like they if, as if they let's say modern castle and they have the passcode to open the gate when they realize they have to come from the spiritual angle as well as the physical mental emotional so it's not a everyday connection it could be a twin flame connection something which is functioning on the spiritual level supposed to function on that level so um what's next let's let's see what spirit is saying what's next um i don't even know whether i have the right decks here yeah spirit is saying i do so okay message of love oracle deck so what's next after this both of you retreating to your own castle no connection what's next self-love yeah i like that i am still trying to heal so this feels like Um, when you are both in this self-love energy, you are both forced to look within and find the love within that you are looking for from outside of you. And when you are coming from self-love and you are on a certain level of your spiritual journey, Virgo, you know that you don't really need anyone but you are choosing to be with those sharing your energy with those who feels like home whether it's a family member a friend a colleague a lover you become very selective of um, um who you are sharing your energy with and just looking at the bottom of the deck where what's coming next values we have too many differences and at this stage it can be true escape i left left when things got hard yeah on the spiritual level it does look like they are the runner 
and uh, there is the gossip here also splitting the deck. I am afraid of what other people will think. That feels like more of a worldly, earthly concern. So that could be a reason why they are running from this. And I, I have a feeling that they actually could have a sense of the spiritual side of this, but that fear is holding them back. And they are daydreaming. I am always longing for you. Hmm. Well, this is a very interesting reading, Virgo. It does look like, for now, this relationship is over. And it can be it. It can be that this is the end. Because I don't see you taking down your boundaries, your voice, Virgo, unless they find that code to the door of your castle, which means they see the spiritual side and they actually want to uh, do that crossing with you. I do feel it, it kind of like they missed their chance. Did they? Did they miss their chance? The keepers of the light want to say something about this. Did they miss their chance? Saint Germain, karma releasing, move beyond the drama, create your own path, make room for good energy. See, this is what I said earlier. You are now very, very choosy who you are sharing your energy with. And by the sound of it, your person is not on your vibration, not on your frequency. You know, it is um, a big statement because you you likely that the two of you are connecting on, on the spiritual level as well sometimes. But, um, you know, we are all uh, energy beings and our energy is... Uh, changing, going lower, higher, lower, higher. And I feel that you need to um, kind of shift down in a sense to, to really connect with your person because they have the potential, but they are not tapping into that. Yeah, interesting. And there is a third eye here. So I feel that when they are able to open their eye, that third eye, bottom of the deck, psychic insight, or then your third eye is open, see truth for what it is, follow your intuition. That's what you are doing. So uh, if they are not following their intuition, the two of you are, it's like, um, it's very difficult to explain. The spirit is showing me a picture, but it is like um, you both are seeing a corridor and um, your person is walking on the grand floor and you are walking on the first floor or the top floor and you don't see each other but you are heading towards uh, the same direction the problem is that on sorry on the on the grand floor there is no more uh, ground <laughs> it's just gone but on the top floor where you are, there is a way forward. So that's what I am saying. Um, you are in, in two different realms. You are not even in the same book at, the, at this point. So right now, as far as I can see with this reading or allowed to see, 
the two of you are not going to come together. This self-love is a big clue here because if someone is truly working on their self-love, which is not just going for cakes and sometimes uh, carving out 10 minutes for yourself. It's so much more than that. Um, they have a chance to have a breakthrough and they have a chance to join you on the top floor. But hmm, I don't know if, if you need a person reading about this, we can look into it um, for you because it's it's very different for everyone where this uh, person is who I am connecting with on their path. So Virgo, I'm going to continue this on Patreon. And if you want a one-off link for the extended, you can find it in the description box. I do appreciate you sending you lots of love and can't wait to see you soon. Bye for now.